the Craftacular Creator and today I am sharing a craft roulette process video. I have chosen episode 6 from April 17th 2020. The parameters were a crown for project, pastel colours, watercolour pencils for element and an embossed frame for random. I chose Miss Ink Stamps, Queen of Hearts and Alice as number one. I love all things Wonderland and number two, the Queen wears a crown. By using Distress Watercolour Pencils, I was able to get a softer pastel effect. I used Distress White Heavy Stock, Versifying Black Ink and a water brush. Before I started filming my intro, I had a little practice run with watercolouring. For the element, I used an embossing folder with a die cut frame. Unfortunately, I cannot give details of this. I vaguely remember getting it from a magazine and this was way back when I did not label everything. And now it's time to craft. I start here by stamping my images. I use Versafine Onyx Black on Tim Holtz Distress White Heavy Stock. I chose Miss Ink stamps for this card as I find they seat water colouring nicely. The Queen is from the Queen of Hearts set and Alice is from the Alice set. Throughout the video, the mention of products used can also be found in the description below. From stamping, I go straight into watercolouring using Tim Holtz Distress Watercolour Pencils. The colour names can be seen in the top right of the screen. I also use a water brush. I scribble a little colour on a white clean mat and pick it up with the brush. I clean it on a cloth in between colours. I find this colouring process very relaxing. I also noticed while editing that I left the lid off my ink pad again. I promise this never usually happens. While I colour, I can tell you a little bit about Craft Roulette. It is a fantastic YouTube card making game show on almost every Friday evening at 6pm Central Time in the US. However, this is 12am UK time for me and I call it dedication when I join in and watch. Mary Gunn, the host, spins the wheel. Four craft parameters are chosen. Guest crafters react, collect supplies and then spend a while crafting and chatting. It is so much fun that an extra N had to be added to the word fun. And now to my favourite part, the fussy cutting. I use Tim Holtz multi cutter scissors. I do not have the coordinating dies for this stamp set and fussy cutting is something that I do really enjoy. A little out of screen view for the Alice. In time, I will get used to cutting in the view of the camera. It's quite strange, this angle, and I have to remember that I'm filming this part. Screen, I embossed a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock with the embossing folder. I then cut a piece of crown patterned paper from Stamp Anything down the rabbit hole which came with a Wonderland kit. After gluing the crown piece of paper behind the heart, I then lift the embossed piece to fit the queen through and glue her down with a long form glue tube. I had to be careful that she didn't lose her head here.
I then positioned Alice to where I thought was suitable. Once I finished this part, I stamped my sentiments on a pre-cut stitched banner from Longthorn on a piece of Nina cardstock using an acrylic block and hoping I get it right first time. And now to back the card. This is something that rarely happens while crafting as I normally ask my husband to do this. I had to show off the logo of our small handmade card business here. We print this onto the back using a We Are Memory Keepers printmaker. The final step is the placement of the banner. I decided to go for top right as I liked the flow of the design. I trimmed off any excess to tidy up the card. And there is that ta-da moment of a completed card. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I will be back soon.